Hello, Gemini. This is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Geminis. Keep that in mind. The energies I pick up may continue on from the last reading, or I may get a totally different new energy. But this is for Gemini starting November 2018. Full Celtic Cross for Gemini. 2018, Gemini. November 2018, Gemini. We'll see what the beginning energy is. Hopefully we got some positive energies. If not, we'll work through them. See what's going on. Beginning energy. Death in reverse. Now this could be a few things. This could be that something is trying to resurrect in your life that you should keep dead and gone. Could be feeling that you're stuck. It could be that you're resurrecting your life for sure over something that ended and you're going through the motions. That's the beginning energy. Starting. Change is coming. Two of Pentacles. You're going to be doing more than one thing. You're going to be juggling something. You're going to be very busy, Gemini. It's crossing it. Mental anxiety. Just a little bit of anxiety. Maybe you're a little worried about it. Your goal is to keep to yourself a little bit more, maybe. Foundation, the Ace of Cups. You're not willing to offer your cup or someone else is not willing to offer it to you. You're just kind of feeling a little uh, stressed out right now. In the past, you didn't have a victory in something. I'll clarify that in just a few. In the near future, you got to be careful of your intuition. It may be a little off. I'll clarify that also. Now, I'm going to keep these overturned because right now we're doing the current environment in the near future. And I want to clarify them first. But I shuffled these prior also. I concentrate on your sign. It's getting awful blurry there. Try to focus it back in. But here we got the Two of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords crossing it. This change is coming. It's got you a little worried or a little anxiety, I should say. Why are you there? The change card, the Two of Pentacles, feeling a burden with the Nine of Swords, feeling like you got a load on your shoulders. It's too much for you, you're thinking. It's more in your thoughts than anything. And I get another card for the Two of Pentacles, change card, that's change in your life, with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Why are you there? For Gemini. Could have to do with the Prince, Princess of Cups. This could be a water energy or someone taking on that energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They have something to do with it, or you're taking on this energy. They are in the upright. Now, your goal is the Hermit card. The Hermit card is in the upright. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Hermit card. It's just like more or less keeping to yourself, thinking to yourself what you're going to do next. You're going to contemplate on your life. The Hermit card, why are you there as the goal for Gemini? Could have to do with the lover situation and a passionate offer. Maybe something didn't uh, get offered to you or you didn't want to offer it to somebody else and you're feeling like uh, the fire went out in a lover situation, even though the lover's card is in the upright. This person was something in your life at one time. But right now, it's like uh, the love isn't there. You're not feeling the love or they're not feeling the love. But you got the Ace of Cups as the foundation in reverse. Like I said, someone's not offering that new love right this second. Or they weren't because this is the foundation. This is what you're going through. Ace of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? Taking control, making a choice. Maybe some of you just didn't want to make a choice or aren't ready for something yet or someone else is not ready with you. Can I get another card for the Two of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Cups? This has almost already been happening. Prince of, Princess or Prince of Wands could be someone with a lot of fire energy. Someone taking on that energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Now in the past you feel like you didn't have a victory. Let's find out why. Six of Wands, in reverse, why are you there? Because you've had a failed situation, the Seven of Pentacles. Why are you there? 
Queen of Cups could have to do with the water type energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm a little busy reading right now. Can you come back later? Thanks. The High Priestess. Someone was knocking on my door tapping. I hate that when that happens. This is the trouble I have when I start reading for people. Sometimes I get interrupted, but I do not like to leave a reading. The High Priestess. In reverse, why are you there? It's like your intuition is a little off, okay? Do not, it, it could be that things aren't revealed to you the way you wanted them to be, or you weren't expecting something that you thought you knew, you thought it was solid, and maybe your intuition was off. The high priestess, why are you there? In reverse for Gemini. Happiness. You're wanting happiness. This is the why. You went for something, even though your intuition was off, because you're happy. This is in your future. i got to rephrase that. Your intuition will be off, and you may be jumping into something, because you're thinking of happiness, wanting your happiness, because this is the why card here. Can I get another card for Gemini? But this thing may not grow the way you want to because the Empress in reverse. So be careful that when you're when you're wanting something, you don't listen to your gut gut feeling. And you're you may dismiss it. You may dismiss your intuition because you're thinking of happiness. You're going to jump into something, but it's not fruitful right now. The timing is off. Okay, timing is off in the next. Um, first week of November, most likely. Now, uh, the, the advice of the universe, or the final outcome, is the Seven of Swords. It should be either or. I'm going to figure out which one it is. Seven of Swords, why are you there, as the advice card. It's watch for sneaky behavior and things that are exactly what they are. Someone may be trying to get away with something. So it may be the universe telling you to take guard. Seven of Swords. Why are you there? Eight of Cups in reverse. Maybe telling you to walk away from something that's a little sketchy. Because before you didn't, it's, it's warning you. Something is sketchy. Something's not right. And it's Eight of Cups in reverse. You're not walking away from a sneaky situation, and you, and you should be, possibly. Now, whether you're the one doing this or someone's doing it to you, it's the universe telling you to beware. Does it have to do with the Prince of Swords? This could be an air energy, someone taking on this energy. It's quick energy. It's words and communications going very quickly. This could be an actual person also, someone uh, with the air sign or someone taking on that energy. Air, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. could be you. It's telling you. It's telling you to be careful of sketchy, you know, sketchy, kind of not right behavior. Because you may not walk away from it. So someone may deceive you. And you may lose uh, out on money. Because right here, it shows change and you have an anxiety and you're losing strength and you're thinking to yourself. But at the same time, in the near future, you're not, your intuition is off. Because you're going for happiness. You're not thinking clearly. But this thing is not going to grow if you're not careful because there's some really sneaky behavior coming up. And what's coming towards you, Gemini, is balance. Something better will come. Something more balanced. Something more uh, that will calm your life into a way where you're, you're more you're more happy with the situation. So something is coming towards you that's more in balance with what you want. It's the art card. It's also known as temperance in other decks. But the art card, why are you there for Gemini? Strife. Someone's not wanting to fight with you or anything like that. Or whatever situation is coming towards you, you won't have to work too hard for. So realize the sneakiness that may be around you, but also realize that better things are coming, not just to jump into anything, just because you want to be happy straight out. You know, be patient. Can I get another card for the art card and the strife card in reverse? Strife card in reverse is a good card. Can I get another card for Gemini? 
a lot of sneaky behavior and a lot of the cards are card again you're getting balance coming towards you something more equilibrium that's going to give you more of an edge in life hopes and fears gain you're afraid you won't have gain in your life financially uh, emotionally all of it you're you're afraid you won't move forward and progress in your life but the nine of coin why are you there the hopes and fears of Gemini and then the hope is also that you will have gain in your life there's nothing wrong with that nine of Pentacles why are you there for Gemini you're worried about it five of Pentacles you're just more worried you got a lot of anxiety you may jump into something you may not listen to your intuition I'm thinking you're not gonna listen to your intuition because you just want to be happy but be careful because there's some sneaky behavior and I think it is attached to that but you have something better coming okay listen to me can I get another card for the nine of Pentacles and the five of Pentacles as the hopes and fears Prince of Dis you're gonna think it's not moving quick enough either the Prince of Dis is in reverse it can be a person but it could be an energy too this is slow moving energy when it's in reverse or upright it's a very slow energy and like I said, you're just fearing that things won't move as progressively as you like with the Prince of Discs. It can also be an Earth sign, have something to do with the Earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn. Final outcome, you got something nice coming. I told you you would. You're going to have to deal with whatever sneaky behavior is occurring first and look for the... Uh, something that's coming more balanced towards you something that's going to be something more that you prefer it's going to uh, ease your mind at the final final outcome you got the knight of cups this is someone making a positive offer to you whether love or friendship it's a gift or whatever the knight of cups is a very good energy sometimes it is water energy but sometimes it's just basically a given energy could be a pisces cancer scorpio or someone with that energy like i said Knight of Cups, why are you there for Gemini? Why are you there for Gemini? Hmm. Queen of Disc in reverse. You got people all around you. I'm seeing earth, fire, air like yourself, water. You got a lot of people around you, but for some reason your goal is to people put things up at arm's length but in the near future you're not going to trust your intuition or your intuition will be off like i said i need something besides a person here can i get another card of a y card you're avoiding a tower moment someone's going to offer you something that's pretty positive that will help you to avoid a tower moment could have with that sneaky behavior okay you're going to avoid a tower moment listen to the universe and don't trust everything that comes towards you because this is also things hidden not seen well also same way with the seven of swords you're there's someone sneaking off with something and they're not walking off or you're not walking away from it but what's coming towards you is going to give balance could be a person and so you're going to overcome strife it's not going to happen the strife and you're going to avoid a tower moment this is the kind of situation where a blessing in disguise you're going to avoid a tower you're going to avoid a crumbling a shocking event you could barely miss it and it has a lot to do like i said with that uh knight of cups and you're dealing with more than one person and the three of wands is the um, um ending energy and this is a wonderful card the three of wands is things coming towards you that are positive and negative things leaving so that is your reading for the first part of November, and I'll be back for the middle part of November. I'll be getting this out as soon as I can. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye, Gemini. Bye.